This is Agtech Zona filter. Out of the package, got the pigtail. Just be sure that the cap is nice and tight all around. Work it with your fingers. Take the pigtail, probably works best this direction. Slide it on, nice and tight. And now you're ready to go out to the Y-tubing. Now we're stall side with the filter. You take the Y-tubing set, put your finger as a, as a little back stop, push that over, down, push and twist. Then we want to fill the filter about halfway full of liquid. Close the bottom clamp as it is. This one is open, the vent should be open. Open your Y-tubing to allow fluid from the bag up above to come down the tubing enters into the cup and the cup is about half full of flush media. Stop that. Reach over and close the air vent. Open the bottom clamp and it will maintain the liquid you're ready to go flush. This indicates when you're finished with the, with the flush just how to remove the wide tubing. Don't do this and pull. Just grab closely right here. Nice firm grasp. Push, twist, just like this to disconnect. You disconnect, cap it closed. So it's a closed system. You can now go into the microscope. When you're finished flushing, I just want to show you, you have two presentations. One, you can keep the pigtail on the device, just bring it in closed like this. Some people may elect to remove the pigtail and just use the pinch clamp on the bottom with a little cap and close the outflow port that way. A little more compact package, put it in your pocket to go someplace. Another high quality feature about the Agtech Zona filter is the introduction of a stainless steel screen. It's a very high quality screen, uh, superior to the nylon screen found in many other filters.